Hey, what's going on guys? So today I want to share with you guys a new uh, possible in the future breeding project that I want to try to attempt is the Celestial Pearl Daniels. Finally was able to pick some up for a decent price. The price of these guys have definitely gone up a lot, uh, you know, in the past couple years here just because of popularity and also just because um, everything, you know, is going up in price anyways. So, um, you know, these guys were fairly expensive, but I was able to pick, you know, a fair amount of these guys to start off with. Got about 40-ish of them. Um, and I bought them from two different retailers. And I think I'm going to probably buy maybe another 10 or 20 from another retailer just to kind of get a nice mix of gene pools um, to kind of start off with. Uh, and then from there, kind of grow them out, see which one's the best and see if we can kind of get a really nice uh, breeding group. Um, that we kind of put in the 50 gallon uh, low boy which is right below this um, and we'll kind of let them you know breed and you know scatter their eggs everywhere with you know the shrimps in there um, so right now they're in this tank um, for quarantine and after quarantine we'll kind of move them down to the 50 gallon tank to kind of give them a little bit more room but i actually i'm thinking that this tank might be a lot better suited for them to breed in and catch the eggs in right because it's a smaller area then we can kind of drop the eggs in the 50 gallon that might be another um, thing that i may consider now i just got them in today so they're a little skittish but um, because they have a you know a pretty large uh school here so they're kind of comfortable and they're kind of swimming with each other it looks like we got one that isn't a um, celestial pearl it looks like it's a, a different rasbora that kind of got mixed in the bag there um, during shipment um, okay <laughs> i guess we'll have a, a different guy in there as well we'll kind of let them hang out with each other and kind of quarantine all together there. Now I've had these guys in the past and I would say, you know, a lot of these guys come in, unfortunately, like sunken belly, you know, with some sort of like uh, worm or a parasite in their belly where they kind of look like that. We had a, two of these guys that kind of look like they're super just skinny and hopefully, you know, we can kind of deworm them and then from there kind of like, you know, let them plump. But for the most part, a lot of these other guys, they look pretty decent. So we have two of them that look kind of like really skinny. Um, not like that, but you know, he kind of ran in the back, but you know, you can kind of tell that there's something wrong with them. You know, unfortunately when you buy them online, you'll get a lot of these sunken belly. The other ones I bought from the local pet store, I, I basically tried to pick all the ones that didn't have sunken belly. Uh, and you know, for the most part, I, you know, they were a little bit more pricey, like almost $2 more than online. You know, I was able to see them at least and I was able to pick them out. Um, so, you know, paying $2 more to see what you get, uh, it might be worth it. Um, and then these other ones online, actually they look really decent um, for the most part. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with them and the size is really nice too. Uh, I'm going to feed them some flakes right now. And I'm going to see if the new one wants to eat. The old ones were here maybe like a couple days earlier and they're already eating. So I'm not too worried about them but we'll see if the new one wants to take any food here. And of course the light is on, they're really skittish. These, these fish are super skittish where they'll kind of like, like to hide. And as you can see, they're kind of like just browsing and eating here. Let me kind of zoom in. There you go. You can kind of see that, you know, as the flakes are dropping, they're eating. Uh, some of them are actually going to the top and eating already. Kind of see that, uh, Got a lot of action here. So a lot of the bigger ones were the ones I bought from the local pet store. And the medium size, the smaller ones were the ones I got online. So it looks like, you know, a good mix of them are eating here. The bigger ones are definitely just chomping down like crazy here. So this is, this is great signs. I'm trying to look for the two super, super skinny ones to see if they want to eat because I need them to plump up. You know, I'm trying to zoom in as, as best as I can here because they're just smaller fish and they're just chomping down like crazy here. These are, are definitely hungry. Okay, here, here's a skinny one that's coming up front here. Kind of see him right there in the middle of the screen. So he's looking for food. So that's a good sign. Now obviously, you know, this tank was already bare bottom, so um, it's gonna be fairly easier to clean. There's a lot of debris just from the two pleco that I had in here just to kind of keep the tank cycled. Uh, they like to eat the wood and kind of drop a lot of this um, super fine 
poop on the floor. So uh, when I do go clean, I just kind of like siphon like all that debris on the floor up uh, once a week. And it's just, it gets, you know, dirty again next week, just the same way, just, you know, from the wood that they eat. But for the most part, um, this tank has uh, also uh, a good amount of duckweed in here. So what happens is once a week, I would actually have to clear like half of this out. It grows so rapidly. that will take, you know, all over this whole tank here. We have some guppy grass and some moss on this side that I want to try to grow out. I know that for these fish, if you have any shade, they'll come out a lot more instead of hiding behind like certain like structures. So if you have like duckweed or a low like floater plants or more plants, they'll come out in front a lot more and you know you'll be able to see them because i've had tanks where um i don't you know it's full blast like light though you'll just be in the back you'll just see them in the back just kind of hiding in the back now obviously they're brand new to the tank they're kind of skittish so they're kind of running back back and forth but this side here is kind of shaded and that side is kind of shaded so you, you'll kind of see them kind of like go through here a little bit kind of come back over here and then kind of go under a lot so yeah so good signs uh they're eating ish it looks like they're kind of being picky the newer ones are kind of eating and spitting it out um and that's fine because we have two plecos in here they'll clean up the rest of the food here um and plus you know they're just getting used to the type of food that i'm feeding them as well so uh they're probably not used to this flake yet so uh, yeah, we'll give them a chance uh, to kind of settle in. But yeah, so if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. Look, always, guys. Peace.